Starting out and beginning painting, I wasn't thinking along a, a real spiritual line, but after getting into it and doing it in countless hours of being out there in the field, day after day, mostly sunsets, I had a full-time job at that time. I would run out at night and with my paints, try to capture what I saw. I really didn't think much about the spiritual side of it, but after painting on you know many of the same locations that these early American painters painted, many different farms and rolling hills that look at the north face of the Catskills or up in the Catterskill Clove itself or Platte Clove. But getting down there, and especially when I'm by myself, there is really a feeling. It's been 30 years at least of painting out in the field with my French easel, going out and uh, coming back with a lot of uh, um, you know, I don't want to call them failures because they were all part of the learning process and still today some come out much better than others, but it's, it's just the, it's actually just showing up. You have, to, you have to show up for the job. It is hard to explain what is driving me to do this. When I would come home at night with a painting or two, I would bring them home, set them up in my studio, and I would look at these paintings and it was almost like I would bring these early painters to my dinner table with me. I would bring them with me and almost say, well, I don't know if, it's really strange. I don't know whether it was like a, um, this um, spiritual thing that just came into me or whether I actually asked these, these guys, you know, hey, help me out here, you know. I really didn't come here to paint uh, in a classic style, classic realism. It just kind of fell into place, but always when I painted, right from the beginning, even though the, the, the chops weren't there, it's like p playing the piano every day, but you know what you want to hear, but you don't have the ability to do it. It's like playing an instrument. Well, it's the same with painting. I would go out and uh, I knew what I wanted to see. And I knew what I wanted it to be. It was very frustrating, but I couldn't pull it off. So I think that was the, uh, the motivation to just try to get to a point that I was satisfied with. Every night, there's a different backdrop. Every night, the weather patterns are different. I've spent time out west, and there are so many days of that same crystal clear blue backdrop where mountains that are a hundred miles away look like they're five feet away. You know, there's no atmosphere. Here in the Hudson Valley, it's really attributed, a lot of it's attributed to the Hudson River itself. You know, the humidity comes up out of that valley and it just uh, diffuses the light and softens things. There is a glow that is here that I, I haven't found anywhere else in the United States.